I don't walk alone. Not to love is a I'm a fool in all this world. Oh, I love the soul can hold that sword and live. Right. It was the animal Batista. I wasn't supposed to be here tonight, especially thanks to the fact that I'm no longer under a PWC contract, as it seems like. But I got into a conversation with Tyson Kidd, and in the moment my PWC contract expired, he had the opportunity to offer me a new contract, but he said, don't worry about it, Batista. We have many great guys to fight for the world title. We have Bruce Bannister. We have a lot of heavyweights. Erebus, the champion himself. Billy Ray Diggler. Schlack. Baron Webb. Arthur Knight. Soul Hunter. EC3. Lots of them. And we even have Mason Ryan. And he got to the point that he actually said, well, the fact of you being gone from PWC is not really a big deal since we still have all of these guys and especially we have your next prodigy, which is Mason Ryan. And this is where the thing got ugly. Tyson Kidd, are you trying to do what Vince McMahon once did? Looking at Mason Ryan, as my successor, as my next prodigy, as someone to replace me in the future of wrestling, don't you think that is a bad idea? Vince tried to do that and he failed. He tried to replace me with Mason Ryan. Mason Ryan may be great, but I am spectacular. All of the years I've been around this business, all of the years I've been wrestling, wrestling and wrestling against several wrestlers. They had given me all of what I am today. And you want to come up with Mason Ryan, a guy that the last time I saw him, he was in WWE. And then he left to some kind of a circus job. No, for real, I'm, I'm talking serious here. Serious business. He left for a circus. And now he's coming back. Now he's back in wrestling. So let me tell you this, Tyson. I was supposed to be gone by now, but I gotta tell you, before I go, I want to shut the hell out of your mouth, Tyson, and prove to you and prove to everybody else and even to Vince, because he never got convinced that Mason Ryan is not supposed to be my successor. Not in this lifetime, not in any lifetime. So what I'm suggesting here is, Tyson, if you trust so well in Mason Ryan to replace me, bring Mason Ryan to Don't Fear the Reaper and I'll kick his ass.
You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Aside from Saxton's commentary, this has all the makings of an epic match. And Alaska's largest city certainly seems ready for this one. And there's a chop. This is going to be big, one way or another. She lands an enormous elbow. She slams her down with great force. Drives her down with a power slam. comes up short. If you're going to leave your feet, you got to make sure you're going to land the move. She's taking on some offense here. She's going to need to find a way to mount an offense here. You know, she's the kind of competitor that actually likes getting hit. It motivates her. And this might just be what she needs to put her over the top, believe it or not. These women are so evenly matched at this point, guys. There's just no telling which one of them will walk out of here victorious. Get to the ropes, forcing the break. And Michael, I have to question the decision to go for a submission so close to the ropes. The set time finds its mark. With the knee now. Big miss right there. She wasn't even close, Michael. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. She might have it. The giant wizard, Bulldog, the end is near. This could be it. She's going for the cover. No early kick out. What a kick out. She's got her where she wants her. Oh no, we know what this is. A punishing strike. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. My goodness, that connects shoulders down. This could be it. What is keeping this competitor going? She just will not go away. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, and you have to think this is not going to end well. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. No, there's the reversal. She got her with a reversal. She is on fire. Oh, and it's a reversal. <laughs> Once again, thank you for tuning into this great women's matchup. She's looking at it. An emphatic finisher. And there it is, boys. That'll readjust your spine. thinking something else here. Not sure why though, Michael. She seemed to have it really cinched in. Shoulders down, is it enough? Two! There's the pinball. And the victory. Here is your win.
winner, Julia. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. And to be honest, Michael, neither of these amazing women have anything to be ashamed of. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible. And now here it comes our general manager, that is Tyson Kidd. Well, I guess everybody at this point knows exactly why I'm here today. Angers, 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 Angers. No, it is not because of that bastard. Even though, that if you want to talk about him, let me tell you that next week, Angie, you're going to have some kind of a preparation match against a man that I have yet to decide. But trust me, he is not going to be an easy task to get through. But now moving on, two weeks from now, we're on PWC's Don't Fear the Reaper pay-per-view. A pay-per-view to celebrate Halloween's Eve. And just like last week, I was about to announce an out-of-the-box idea, a special announcement, but thanks to that bastard Anjay, I didn't make it. So tonight, let's hope I don't get interrupted again by that guy. Let's hope that tonight I'm going to make the announcement. So without further ado, here it goes. At PWC's Don't Fear the Reaper, there is going to be a special match called Coming Back from the Dead match. A match between two wrestlers that unfortunately are no longer here with us, but I think, I think, no, I'm sure they deserve to be remembered. There is no best pay-per-view to remember two wrestlers that have gone away a long time ago that don't fear the Reaper. So two weeks from tonight, coming back from the dead match between two guys that I'm gonna keep them in secret until that night. And I really, really hope you're gonna love this one. See you there. Woo woo woo, you know it. Oh, radio, tell me everything you know. I like to stay on the radio. I like to turn it real loud. Na 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 for those who don't remember, it was two weeks at Jungle Fury that Zack Ryder, the master of Woo Woo Woo, won not only the NXT Championship in a ladder match, but he actually won as well a briefcase that guarantees him a shot at any belt here in PWC. And I guess the time for him to pick a belt has come. The announcer is passing him the microphone. Woo woo woo, you know it. You know exactly why I'm here tonight. I'm here to pick up a spot at any belt on this company. As far as I'm concerned, despite the fact that now I am the NXT champion, I also have a briefcase that allows me to compete for any belt here in PWC. And now the time has come for me to decide which championship I want to fight for. Well, let me see what we have. We have the tag team championships. Well, I would have to find a tag team partner for me. Perhaps, of course, Kurt Hawkins would be a great pickup. But he's not here tonight, so forget about it. We have the European championship. Well, that's another good choice. We have the PWC TV belt, which in my perspective, right now as this moment goes, it is an inactive title. And now we have the biggest championship of this company. There is the PWC World Heavyweight Championship. So of course, without shadow of a doubt, 
I want to fight for the best. I want to fight for the best championship that this company has. And that is the world title. The most prestigious title in this company. So Erebus, give yourself a favor and put your ass right here because I'm going to kick it right now. I'm cashing in this briefcase. Well, and it feels like Erebus and Zack Ryder are going to fight for the world title right now. Let's go back to the ring side. Introducing the challenger from Long Island, New York, weighing in at 224 pounds, he is the NXT champion, Zack Ryder! Introducing the champion from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 290 pounds, he is the Pro Wrestling International Heavyweight Champion, Eric! Don't change that dial. Okay guys, we're ready to get this one underway. I've had my eye on this championship match for a while, guys. But can he knock off the champ here tonight? There's a lot of people who say he can't, but I actually kind of like his chances. As we get started here, if you haven't seen WWE action here in Florence, I urge you to come out the next time we're here. The atmosphere is unbelievable. Okay, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit about Zack Ryder here. Well, it's never easy to take down a champ. What kind of attack should he mount? It's going to take a lot to take down the champion, but if anybody can do it, Michael, it's this one. I got to agree with you, and I know that. Win or lose, he's a superstar. We're going to hear a lot from him. He doesn't look too eager to get up, and I don't blame him. Zach Ryan is on the attack now. If there's one thing we know about Long Island IC, it's that Zack Ryder is coming to that ring ready to bring the fight to his opponent. And the WWE Universe is always firmly behind Ryder chanting, Woo woo woo, you know it. Zack Ryder with some reason for concern. 
You can bet he's not going to let this golden opportunity slip so easily. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still appears to be in pretty good shape here. This match is so evenly contested. And he goes for the pin. And Ryder kicks out. Oh, man. I don't know who to root for. No mistake about it. Zack Ryder's a phenomenal athlete. And to your point earlier, Byron, he's always ready to go in that ring. The WWE Universe certainly loves their... Long Island, Iced Z. Zack Ryder's never short on energy, never short on desire, won't back down from a challenge and has the worst spray tan in the business. But as far as the WWE Universe is concerned, they support him, even though I don't get it.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to PwC. Let's put the cameras on backstage. Look at that. There is that's the Street Profits. Oh man, that match at Jungle Fury was so spectacular. I mean, the Raw Tag Team Titles were at stake. The SmackDown Tag Team Titles were at stake. Hell, even the NXT Tag Team Belts. But unfortunately, on that night. The Undisputed Era were the best men. Yeah, but now we have to look forward to the future and what's next for us. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Forget about that match. We have to start thinking about what's next and... Uh... Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Have you heard what he said? Who? Jose, Jose is talking there. Let's go there. Hey, 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 Jose, sorry for interrupt you, but uh, we were up there and we were listening to your conversation here. Were you saying that the private party are coming here next week to make a party here in PwC? They want to host a party live on PwC's television? Well, you're right. They are coming here next week for that. Seriously, how do Tyson Kidd allow that to happen? Ah, oh, man. Well, let me send this message to private party. This is what you have to know. You cannot make a party without inviting the street profits. They may be great hosts for parties, especially those who are private. But for street profits, there is no private parties. There is after parties. There is parties with all kinds of people. And next week, we're coming back here. Private party, get ready. Because we are coming down to your party. <laughs> Without being invited. But we like it this way. See you next week. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. And whichever team wins this match here tonight can absolutely make an argument for being one of WWE's I can tell you that the Chicago crowd has been itching to see this one all day. What's your take on what Morris has been going through? What does he need to do to make sure his team comes out on top here? He knows exactly what he's doing in there, Cole. I expect to see plenty of tags so he and his partner can stay fresh. He can dial things up in there, and that's what the situation calls for, but I really don't think that's what he's thinking of at the moment. Nice job by Randy Orton there. That slam put him in a bad way, guys. I have to tell you, the RKO from Randy Orton is a thing of beauty. Well, unless you're the one who's getting dropped by it. The Apex Predator's speed and power are just the beginning because an RKO can occur at any moment. Breaker. 
He gets it with a reversal. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. A bit of contempt coming through on that slam. Doesn't show any signs of getting up here, guys. No, he's taking one heck of a beating, Michael. What's he going to do with it? What an amazing display of athleticism. And he gets him with a counter. He is a one-man gang in there. Look at this. There's absolutely no wasted motion in this attack. He's starting to show signs of fatigue. And you have to assume his partner is just itching to get in there right about now. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. But it's still a little too early to get overly concerned here. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. And just a sickening thud upon impact. Slips out. Wow, looked to me like he had it locked in pretty good. I guess not. Oh boy, he is rolling. He might have it. Taking out prisoners with a backbreaker. This might be it, guys. Ain't no stopping him now. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. He is a one-man gang in there. Going for broke. Ooh, earth-shattering spine buster. He might just win this thing right here. Hello, I am Elias, and I'm Ezekiel, Elias's younger brother. Dun, da, 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 da. And we have one question for everybody here tonight who wants to drift with the drifters yeah oh yeah the drift nation is fired up tonight no doubt about it it's been a wild couple of weeks we have retained our titles at jungle fury night 3 but nothing is harder to beat than opponents who just won't go away. They keep coming and coming and coming. But what converts all of us 
is the fact that it don't matter how many times Randy and Ted will come around. We will always send them right back to whatever rabbit hole they came out from. I thought they had learned it once we beat them, but it seems like they still have yet to learn one simple but undeniable fact of life. Ends are made for lifting and the drifters are made for drifting. Yeah, I said the hands are made for lifting and the drifters are made for drifting. Yeah, and given that we are in a celebratory mood tonight, we wrote what might as well be our best song to date. But before we get started, we need you to silence your cell phones, hold your applause, and just enjoy the ride one more time. Oh, wait a minute. The lights go out and the cult, represented by Solanter and Arthur Knight, they appear on screen. Those chords, those notes that you play, they are very powerful things. But it seems to me that you don't know the power that you have got in your hands. But trust me, I know the power that you have got around your waists. Worry not. We mean you no arm for now, but you know, too much power can lead you astray. I can divide you from your purpose. Too much power can lock you back in the prison of your mind. And your mind is just the worst place it can be right now. Your mind, your mind can lead you, but it can deceive you. Your mind can put you under the brightest lights, but it will also fool you with the brightest of lies. <laughs> The biggest geniuses in history were only worthy of that name because they were able to free themselves from their own deceitful nature. And it is that same deceitful nature that you seem to be embracing now, my friends. You have the gold you have these people and you think everything is right in the world and rightfully so but thou shalt not intentionally provoke the seven-headed beast <laughs> for you may slay one head but another one more perfect than the beheaded will grow in its place. Just like they tried to take out Lucia's eyes and the pair of more perfect ones grew, you too will face the same. <laughs> a lot of people will try to tear your eyes out. <laughs> <laughs>
the difference is there will not be a pair of new ones to grow back because there will not be a way back. <laughs> <laughs> Shield your eyes Free The mind <laughs>
I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Me too. I've given up even trying to figure out what they're going to do next. I'm just sitting back watching and enjoying. If he keeps up this pace, this could turn real ugly real fast. Look at this. This could be it. Well, that's it. Wow, now that's what you call a finisher. This might be it. Hot damn, it's exciting. He's just getting dissected. See these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, on the claw by Kane, shades of Fritz. Wait a minute! Refusing to give in there. What sheer determination! Talk about a move with bad intentions. Made 